Hi everyone, welcome back to another day in the live vlog. Today is Thursday the 20th, I think, 20th of July. It is their final day at school today. Well, it's Oscar and Alfie's. They go to separate schools, but they both have a last day today. Oliver's last day is tomorrow, but he's only in for half a day, so he comes home before lunch. Um, so, tomorrow's going to be an odd day because I'm going to have to get everybody up to take Oliver to school for like two hours or something that he goes in for. Um, I'm bunged up because it's the hay fever and my hay fever's back. Again. <laughs> Never ending. Anyway, the time is 25 past 8. I'm just about to take the kids to school. Busy, busy day today. Um, yeah, it's a really busy day today. I have to... I don't know what I have to do, to be fair. Alfie's at a... It's the last day. Alfie's at the school part, um, a kids' party this afternoon after school, even though I'm going to be late because I have to pick up the kids. I need to get this kid a present, so I have to run out today to Home Bargains to buy him a present. I have to ask Alfie what he wants for the kid. I don't know this kid so I don't know what he likes so I'm going to have to um, run out and get him something they're singing um, what else there's something else that's happening today oh I need to organise for we're going away the, in, at the weekend but I'll discuss that later so I need to do that too anyway I'm going to turn this off my dryer I'm going to drink my coffee and then I'm going to take these kids to school and I will see you afterwards. Hi everyone, I got back from the school run. I'm just trying to find my coffee cup to make myself a coffee. It's here. I don't have any um, coffee pods actually, so I need to put that on my list. So I'm going to Home Bargains for that child's um, present. I'll probably just get him like colours, colouring stuff, creative stuff. All kids like that. So yeah, I'm going there, yeah, I'm going to have a coffee first. Um, it's quite a quiet day because half the schools around here have already left, like closed, so it's quite quiet out on the roads. Um, I don't know how busy home bargains will be, but I'll go before midday, I know that. It's currently quarter to ten. I was really behind. Every Every school had something going on, so... Alf, Oscar's school, I can't see myself properly, Oscar's school, he um, had to slide into school on a slide. They put a slide over the door and he had to slide in. But obviously all the parents were like, we need to take a picture of this. And then, and then the line was like half a mile long because it was like they were taking pictures and taking time. Anyway, I was like, I am going to be late to take out Alf Alfie and then I was almost late for Alfie I was just on time but then I got stuck by every all the kids walking across so you're sort of driving to Alfie school they get the kids out and then there's like a they let you go they sort of direct traffic the the teachers and stuff and the head teacher and I had to wait for all the classes to cross in front of my car before I could go obviously so it was like I was late there and then when I was taking Oliver I got behind a concrete mixer that was going 30 mile an hour in a 60 zone and I couldn't overtake because he was like quite wide and I couldn't see past him and then it was on a country lanes and it was all windy I thought sod this I'll just go 30 and then um yeah and then what happened no the trip home was fine it was and, and it's really quiet out there it's just I was unlucky with all the the timings of stuff hi everyone i am ready to go out now i've drank my coffee almost i'm just about to go out the door it's turned out to be a really warm day i didn't expect it actually um we are currently on it says 16 degrees it's it feels much warmer than 16 much warmer um especially in the sun um yeah, so I'm off out. I am going to Home Bargains and I'm going to get this kid a present. Hi everyone, I'm back from Home Bargains. It was really, really busy out there. Home Bargains was fine. It, the roads were busy. So I jinxed myself before saying that the, the roads weren't busy. 
complete jinx myself. So I'll show you what I've got. I put the light on, but it's still quite dark in here. It always is. I got two Costa coffee um, uh, Nespresso coffee pods. I got some kids multivitamins. I got these Budweiser Buffalo Chicken Coated Peanuts. Crispy Coated Peanuts. Buffalo Chicken Wings flavour. Um, I got the little kid that were, uh, Alfie's going to his party. I got him a little coloured paper pad. So we can do some drawing. I got him this stretch thing. The Mr. Stretch toy. I don't know what the kid likes. Who knows? I got these funny scented markers. Am I focused? I don't look like I'm focused. Um, I got Oscar a skipping rope because he said he wanted to learn how to skip. So I got him a skipping rope. A birthday card. Unnamed, uh, unnumbered because Alfie goes to a specialist school and not I think all the people in this class are in high school, but I think they range from year sevens to year nines in the same class. It's all dependent on um, abilities, I think. I'm not sure. But I do know that there's some year rates in his current class. So I don't know if this kid is Alfie's age or is in Oliver's type of year age. So, yeah. Um, I think they they have a year nine in there. I'm not entirely sure, but I know that they range in years, and I didn't know exactly how old this kid is. Um, a magic spring for him. I have no idea what I'm getting. Cowpole six plus and some ibuprofen because we don't have any. Um, salt and vinegar flavored snack thing. Fish and chips. I haven't had them for years. I got these um, little bottles of um, syrups. I've noticed when I have like syrup coffee, I don't um, often drink the whole big pot of syrup. Um, and then I end up forgetting about it and it gets chucked away. So I thought I'd get these little tiny bottles. I will drink them. And then um, I won't be chucking anything away. So... It's a really nice bottle, the uh, packet comes in. I like that. I got a Lenore crease releaser. So, um, some of my clothes, when they're a bit creased, I put them in the dryer. So, I just, I'll spray this and then... Um, care and usage. Yeah, I spray it and then I put it in the dryer for like a few minutes and it gets all the creases out. Miracle Serum. Serum, serum, conditioner, leave in or rinse off. It's just Pantene. Uh, rinse aid. I keep touching the uh, dryer with my stomach and that's why I keep pressing the buttons. Um, Pantene Pro-V Infinite Length Shampoo. I got two face masks. Um, collagen face mask, anti-aging and rejuvenate and firm. I don't often use face masks but I thought I'd buy it. I'm going really dark every so often. We need more light in the situation don't we? Uh, mouthwash. Some more pegs because we've broken all ours and lost them. Uh, Dove deodorant. A scrub mummy for my bathroom to do the tiles and I like this because that is really good for tiles and then the softer side is really good for the bath so I'm going to give it a good scrub and also um, gloves because I've noticed that when I do the bathroom um, <coughs> it's not great on my nails. Um, dishwasher deep cleaner, did I show you this? Finish. Finish dishwasher deep cleaner so I'm going to do that today so that is my little shop um, so I've got a few bits for that that little boy um, some paper oh I also got bear with me a a bag for him so that's that take the price off it it's too big but I couldn't find a boy um, 
a boy birthday bag that was smaller than this. So we're going to go for this. <laughs> He's going to be like, well, loads of presents. And then it's going to be like almost empty of stuff. I am not going to wrap these gifts. I cannot be bothered. That's what I got from Home Bargains. I also got a double blow up bed because... I wanted one from Amazon, but they couldn't deliver in time. It's for our trip to Lizzie's. She usually has a bloke bed, but it's actually popped. It's got a, a puncture somewhere in it. Um, so I bought a double air bed for the kids because there's not much room nowadays that the, her kids have grown up and stuff. They used to have like extra beds in the bedroom, but now they've got doubles. So I've got them, Oscar and Alfie, a double air bed so they can sleep somewhere in the double air bed um, and I've got me and Mark two singles because I cannot stand sleeping in an air bed with Mark he wriggles too much so we've got two singles so we're taking them with us and we need them for this house so if anybody comes to stay it's ideal that we've got like extra beds um, for them to sleep on so yeah I bought um, the two single ones from Amazon and I was trying to get a double one um from amazon but they didn't deliver in time so i just picked one up from home bargains just then it was like 14 quid which is not too bad so uh another reason why i bought these blow up beds is because i want to buy a tent to go camping now if you know me you'll know that i do not do camping or never in the past have i wanted to do camping i am not interested in camping i like my own shower bathroom all that jazz <laughs> but I thought to save money and to to still go like away we will go camping like just buy a tent it would cost as much as like a couple of hotel rooms for two weekends so it's like saving money overall and obviously we get to keep the tent and the stuff we buy and then we plan to go at weekends like go on a Friday after Mark finishes work saturday and then come home sunday and we can do that all the way up until it gets cold in like october time and um, because mark can't get any time off and we can't we have to do things at the weekends and that's it and i thought that if we go away a couple of weekends or even like three or four weekends up to october then it'll just get the kids out it'll be nice i will try and deal with the camping situation <laughs> Um, I plan to go like one night first off and then increase and then maybe I might enjoy it and then I'll be able to do like whole week camping and stuff. But that is the plan because Mark can't get any time off. We have to do weekend trips and I thought it will only take three weekend trips in hotel rooms. Not even that really. If Oliver comes we have to have two separate hotel rooms most of the time and that is about... 150 to 200 pounds a night in a hotel room so i thought if i spend that money on a tent at least we can keep it and do it every year instead of wasting the money so that's my plan i am planning to stay close by for the first couple in like the lakes and stuff i mean that's a gorgeous place to go and stay anyway people would love to just pop to the lakes like we can um and camp but Mark's like, have you gone mad, Andrea? Because you've always been against camping. <laughs> I hate it. I'm like, I would never camp. But I thought we could give it a go, seeing as we're trying to save money. And uh, we do want to take the kids on, like, little miniature holidays. And I thought it's cheaper to get a tent and give them a camping experience a few weekends over the summer. So... We're still thinking about it, but that's the plan. And we've got these blow up mattresses um, available to us now, so that's good. Hi everyone, I have just got um, got in from picking up Oscar and Alfie. I wasn't planning on picking them up, it was gonna be Mark, because we had enough time, but then someone parked in front of our driveway. So, um, yeah, we were gonna run out of time to pick everybody up. It's an absolute tip in here. Let's go and have that then. Do you, does it need water? No. Um, it's an absolute tip in here. It's unreal how messy it actually is. So, Mark's going to get Oliver. He's coming back. He's taking Alfie to his um, 
party. He's taking Alfie to his party and then I'm going to sit here with Oliver and Oscar and hopefully do some tidying because it's a mess. I'm really high up on this one. So I'm just taking the tags off this. So we've got the little party bag here full of presents. Hi everyone, it is now Friday and it is half past eight. I'm just about to take Oliver to school. I have to take Holly to my dad's house, so she's coming with us. Um, so Holly's coming, but then Maisie's going later. I'm not raising my voice because I'm sure these dogs can understand English. And she'll just go and hide. So, um, yeah, I'm taking Oliver to school. He's only in for half a day, so he comes back at half past 12, which I'm going to have to go get him at half past 12. So, um, me and Alfie, Oscar's at my dad's, um, so while he's at my dad's, me and Alfie are going to pack the car and do all the packing and stuff. So we're going to come back, do all the packing, and then we're going to take Maisie to my dad's house later and then um, pick up Oscar then. And then when, once Mark's finished work, we can go. It's a bit of a weird day. I don't know why we chose Friday to go. Mark wanted to go on Friday, so we thought we'll just go on Friday. I also need to do a little bit of cleaning. The sink needs cleaning. It's a bit of a mess. Um, the oven needs cleaning. All the top and the outer bit of the oven needs cleaning. So I need to do that when I get back. Um, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I have to go now. So I am going to get this boy to school and then take this dog to my dad's. <laughs> and then, yeah, come back and I will see you when I get back from the school run and we're back home we um we took oliver the traffic was horrendous i have no idea what's happening um i've never ever seen it that busy um i go down the back roads so it's like a country lane and it was just i even got stuck in a traffic jam down a country lane so there was something definitely wrong anyway i'm doing some washing i am going to clean the sink i'm going to have a coffee and then I am going to start packing. So what I need to pack is, I've got two blow up beds here, if you can see in a box. I need to get them out of the box. I've got another blow up bed here. Double air bed. And I need to get covers, um, blankets and stuff like that, t uh, pillows. I'm gonna get them all in the car. And then I'm going to tackle all the um, I'm going to tackle the clothes. We don't need that many. We need one change of clothes, basically. Um, and then, yeah. <laughs> well, we need two changes actually, because we change tomorrow and then we change on Sunday. Uh, the kids probably won't need well no actually she's got if something gets mucky then liz can wash them can't she but we need a change of underpants and stuff and socks for two days so i have to remember that and um i need to pack all my electronics like my camera and my computer if you want to do some editing there and stuff like that anyway i've got my dryer on so i'm gonna go i will see you when i'm packing bye Okay, so I bought these, right, because I cannot handle sleeping on airbeds with Mark because he wriggles so much. So I bought two premium raised airbeds because I hate it when it's too close to the floor. It makes me feel uncomfortable. So I got raised ones. Um, these were actually quite cheap and what I thought, they were like 40 quid each. So what I thought is we could stay in a hotel room for like, and leave Oliver at Lizzie's house and then just have one hotel room for me, Mark and the kids. Well, Oliver, no, Oliver would stay at <laughs> Lizzie's and I would have a hotel room with Alfie and Oscar and Mark, but that would cost a hundred quid a night and something must be going on around Lizzie's that it was like over a hundred quid when it's usually around a hundred quid. Anyway, that's not what I was talking about. <laughs> I got these for less than a hotel room and they're good for this house because I have no extra beds. So if anybody comes to stay, they can stay on these air beds. So that's what I um, bought, two of these and a double one for the kids. So I'm going to, um, it's got a built-in electric pump too. These are going to be good when we go camping as well. 
which I'm excited to try. Are you excited? Camp Camp camping. Camping. Yeah, so I'm going to get these out. They come in their own bags, so I'm going to take them out of the boxes. Um, have a just a quick gander at them. And then I'm going to start packing the car while the rain holds off, because it's been raining today. So I'm going to do that now. Hang on. Oh, my dad's ringing, so I'll speak to you in a minute. Hi, everyone. I have um, packed the car with the bedding, and it's taken up my whole boot. Um which is not ideal. Um, I'm now looking for my computer charger, things that can charge up my devices. I may take my other camera, I'm going to take this camera, charge it up, and then yeah, I'll do that upstairs actually. I'm up, down, up, down. Hi everyone, it is now half past one I think, and I picked up Oliver from school, he came out at half past twelve. So he needs to just have a shower and get into his clothes, which he's going to do in a minute. And um, the traffic was so bad. And then uh, Mark is at work. He has to, um, he's on his way back to his work. But the M6 is apparently really, really busy today. And I've just checked out the route that we're going to Lizzie's. It usually takes about two hours. It's taking over three hours today or at this very minute in time it will take over three hours so the m6 is particularly bad today not the best ideal time to drive anyway mark is on the m6 coming back upwards and it's bad upwards as well so he has to go to work get the car obviously all that jazz um yeah so i am um Mark is on his way back to work, he needs to obviously do his work stuff, clock out, whatever he has to do at work, get in his car, then drive here, which is like half an hour, 45 minute drive, and then we have to get in the car and go to Lizzie, so it will take, oh, it'll take him about two hours to get home, just under two hours to get home, and then another three hours to get to Lizzie's, so that's, half past one, half past two, half past, half past one, half past two, half past three, and, until we're starting to think about going, and then it'll be like six, seven o'clock by the time we get to Lizzie's. Not great. Yet. <sighs> I wanted to get there a bit earlier than that because I just don't like travelling. To be fair, but never mind. I have to go and get Oliver a towel and stuff for his shower. So I will see you in a minute. Everyone, we're ready to go in a minute. Mark is on his way, he's 15 minutes out. So he is gonna come back, get dressed, and then we're gonna go. I've packed everything. Everything is fit in the car, which was quite tough actually, because we've got a lot of bedding and beds to take. We've got a few bits on here that I'm just gonna put in one bag and carry with me. I've got my handbag, um, my... Yes? Yes, I do. So, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to pack it. Um, I've got me makeup and stuff. I'm going to pack that in one bag. And this bag is full of um, sand from our Wales holiday. I'm going to use it anyway. So, yeah. That's what I'm doing now. I'm just packing up, I'm ready to go. So, that's what we are doing. So oh, anyway, this camera is going to go off in a second, so I'm going to end this vlog here and then I'll do like a travel vlog for our trip to Lizzie's and I will see you in a few days for that vlog. So thank you very much for watching this one and I will see you in a few days. Bye.